Hey kids, good morning. We're so glad you have joined us today for our online service. This whole month, we're gonna be talking about Clue, solving the mystery of Easter. We've got some clues we're gonna have to figure out later on. So you're gonna need a pen and a piece of paper or a notebook to keep up with it. But for right now, put everything away. We're all gonna stand up on our feet and worship the Lord. Are you ready to worship with us this morning?
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that time of worship. Now we're gonna go into our second set of clues. Everybody ready? Okay, let's see what we've got this week. We have nails. We have a cross. And we have an empty tomb. Can you guys help me? What do you think? I know what it means. Yes, what? So, a man used nails uh -huh. to build a cross. Okay. But he didn't want anyone to steal it, so he put it in an empty tomb and put the stone over it so no one would steal his cross. That's not it. No, that's totally it. Okay. I know. Pastor Summer. So, a carpenter. Okay. He had three nails, and he wanted to build something, so he built a cross. But... He didn't have the patent for it, and he didn't want anyone to steal his idea. So he stuck his cross uh -huh. in an empty tomb uh, in the morning when the sun was shining. <laughs> oh. That's it. Okay. Uh, no, Sarah? No, 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 no. Okay. What you got, Sarah? First of all, both of you are wrong. I'm never wrong. <laughs> so the guy who had the nails... To build this, I don't know what his name is, but I know it started with a T. And he was a caveman, and he lived in this cave, and he wanted some home decor, so he got this, and he made it a big T to put on his front door. That is so dumb. I kind of like it. I, uh, thank you. I, I, I can see Oh, goodness. It. I mean, yeah. Okay, guys, I think we might need a little bit of help to help us with figure out these clues. So let's just take a look at this video. Hello, detectives. We've been busy gathering clues that will help us discover the true meaning of Easter. We've already looked at clues like donkeys, palm branches, bread, and tables, but we've got a few new clues to investigate today. What do these clues have in common? I don't know. So it's a good thing you're here to help solve the mystery. Today we're going to hear a story from the Bible that is really important, but it does have some parts that are sad and hard to hear. The best stories are a little sad sometimes, and this is one of them. But the ending is the most important and best part. So as we listen, think about the clues we just saw and see if you can figure out what Easter is all about. We learned last week about Jesus having a special meal with his disciples called Passover. After the meal, Jesus went to pray in a garden. Then Judas, the disciple who Jesus said would betray him, showed up with some soldiers who arrested Jesus and brought him to trial. They accused Jesus of lying because Jesus said he was God. The Roman governor Pontius Pilate said he didn't think Jesus had done anything wrong, but the crowd shouted that Jesus should die. So they took Jesus away and killed him on a cross. It was a very sad day. When Jesus died, the curtain in the temple split into two and the sky got dark. When that happened, people thought, oh no, maybe Jesus really was God just like he said. They buried Jesus' body in a tomb and rolled a huge stone in front of it so no one could get in or out. Jesus' disciples were so sad. But then three days later, something amazing happened. And this is the best part of the story. Three days after Jesus died, two women who followed Jesus came to the tomb and saw that the huge stone was rolled away and Jesus was gone. They were shocked. Where was Jesus? An angel appeared and told them that Jesus was alive. Then Jesus appeared to the women. They were so happy. Jesus wasn't dead. He was alive. Jesus didn't deserve to die, but he died and rose to live again so we can be forgiven for our sins and become friends with God. Even though this started out as a sad story, we can be happy because Jesus is alive. The clues in this story remind us that every Easter, we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Well, I hope that video helped you understand your clues just a little bit better. But if you're still not there yet, we're gonna have a lesson in just a minute. But for now, let's review our verse for the month. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3 dot dot 16. Why don't you take a moment to pause this video and write this verse down under your clues. Now, y'all repeat after me. God so loved the world. God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only son. That he gave his one and only son. 
Anyone who believes in him, anyone who believes in him will not die, will not die, but will have eternal life. But will have eternal life. John 3, John 3, dot dot, dot dot, 16. 16. Now on the count of three, let's scream it as loud as we possibly can. Are y'all ready? One, two, three. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3, dot, dot, 16. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to take just a few minutes to worship Jesus. So if you'll put everything away, stand to your feet. We're going to have a moment of worship. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. And you have been so, so kind to me. love that worship song and I love just thinking that you guys are in your living room or your kitchen or your bedroom and you're all worshiping God as a family. Um, but let's go over our clues one more time. So we have the nails, we have the cross, and we have an empty tomb. So did you guys kind of put everything together that Jesus was um, put on the cross. He had nails that held him to the cross. But then three days later, what happens? Mary went to visit the tomb. And what did she find? She found two angels. If you'll look with your family in John chapter 18, 19, and 20, and take time to read that all together as a family. I know it's a lot. 
Um, but it is really great. It goes over everything that, that Jesus was put on trial. He had to go to trial for something that he didn't even do. Like Jesus was punished for something that he didn't do. So he took our sins and he was nailed to the cross. But you know what? That's not the end of the story. And that's the best part. On the third day, Mary went to visit the tomb. She found two angels. You know what she didn't find? Jesus was not in this tomb. So Jesus rose on the third day. So that's what we're celebrating. So let's take a look at this. The egg represents Jesus. And so Jesus was put on a cross and we're just gonna put Jesus in here. And you know what happened? Like he was like beat up and they mocked him and they made fun of him. So he was all crushed, bruised and beaten for us. Completely crushed. They put him in a tomb. They sealed the tomb. But on the third day, the tomb is empty. Jesus was no longer there. He had risen from the dead. So these three clues help us know what our bottom line is. Our bottom line is every Easter, we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. It's so much fun to celebrate with Easter, with Easter eggs and candy. But let's just remember, boys and girls, the true reason that we celebrate Easter is we remember Jesus' resurrection. Thanks for worshiping with us. We love and miss you guys very much, but see you next week. Bye.